Hello again YouTube and welcome back to Just Get A Tesla. It's not Monday and I'm not driving the car. Why? Because we need to talk about the Tesla semi truck handover event which happened overnight and I really do believe that this is a game changer. So I'm going to talk about two things on this video. First of all, let's have a look at the semi truck itself and the technology, the way that the vehicle is built, how it performs, all of those important bits. But then secondly, I'm going to explain to you why I really do believe that this is a game changer. So the launch event itself started off with lots and lots of glitzy video. It's Tesla. Of course, it's going to do that. And the truck drives in and Elon Musk jumps out, waves at the crowd, lots and lots of whooping and cheering as you would expect, because that's kind of what they do. And they start talking about this new vehicle. It has 500 miles of range. Now, we had to wait a little while between this being unveiled as a, as a product that they were going to make and them actually making the first deliveries. And 500 miles of range is something that people as well up on tech as Bill Gates said was not possible. And yet it is possible and they've just done it. But let's compare efficiency of that vehicle versus diesel trucks. They're telling me in the video that it's going to do two miles per kilowatt hour. Now, my Tesla Model Y long range does just under four miles per kilowatt hour, which I think is good. But the truck is only half that, slightly less than half that. That is ludicrously efficient if you think about it, for the size of the vehicle and the weight that it's going to be pulling. And this thing can tow 82,000 pounds of weight, which if you are in um, Europe or in other places is about 37 metric tons. So it's a big truck and the American trucks, you know, they go flying down the, down the um, interstate system um, much quicker than trucks are allowed to go in the UK. So it's not like it's hanging around and yet it's fabulously efficient. It's because Tesla is using the technology that it's developed in its road cars. My Model Y, the Model 3, Model X, Model S. It's been consistently beta testing all of the technology. So the semi truck is going to use three motors. It's the same setup that you get in the new Model S Plaid. So one motor on the back axle and two motors on the front. So when this thing is going along at highway speeds, it's only going to be using the rear motor. Now, each motor has got three times the power of a diesel engine that you get in a truck. And this has got three of them. So nine times the power so you only need one motor to go along and as um, Elon Musk pointed out these motors are so well designed and well packaged that you could pick the thing up and put it in your hand luggage and go and travel having googled it an average US truck is doing something like six miles per US gallon so the semi truck is going to only be half as efficient as my car but the diesel version is a lot more inefficient than the equivalent car. So that just shows you the efficiency of Tesla's powertrain. And the rest of it, they're using the electrics, they're using the screens, they're using the infotainment system that you'd be used to if you were in a car. So again, it's all tried and tested, it will be reliable. The other exciting thing about the semi truck is the new charging infrastructure. So the existing Tesla passenger cars and pretty much every EV you can buy uses 400 volt charging. The semi truck has got 1000 volts charging infrastructure. 1000 volts means that the semi truck can charge at one megawatt, a megawatt of charging. That is four times quicker than the charging speed that I'm getting at the moment on my Tesla Model Y. And 250 kilowatts of charge is already five times faster than the 50 kilowatt charging that I used to get on my Nissan Leaf back in 2014. You're talking about something which will charge 20 times quicker than what at the time was a pioneering vehicle only eight years ago. 
this really is going to be a game changer by itself because they're going to put the same thousand volt charging infrastructure on the Cybertruck. So we've talked about the truck. Let's talk about transportation now because why is an electric truck a really big thing? And it's very simple. Everything in this room was delivered by diesel. Everything I am wearing was delivered by diesel because literally everything that you own has come on a truck or a van or the parts that go into it has gone on a truck or a van all the food that you eat or the fertilizer used to grow the food even if you bought it from a farm shop whatever it is diesel fuel has been used so whatever we do with passenger vehicles with private cars you are still going to end up with this huge amount of pollution from diesel and here is the thing unless we do something about that then our cities are never going to be clean then the communities that live alongside major roads or next to motorways freeways autobahns whatever you call it they're always going to be dirty because of the emissions and of the particulates and of the just nasty ugh, coming out of exhaust pipes we've got to do something about it and that means a change of fuel source trucks are still diesel and city centers are full of trucks of big vans of small vans of pickup trucks of everything delivering everything it's all diesel and unless we can do something about that the environmental push that we need to stop killing ourselves breathing in all of this noxious guff isn't going to get very far and i think this is why this really is a game-changing moment this is a day that will go down in the history of our transport story which is history which is geography which is how our cultures and our societies evolve the manufacture and the purchase of things and how we move those things from here to here to here an electric truck today is on sale with a reasonable range and a maintenance regime that they're very quickly going to realize is significantly easier than all of the other trucks so it's going to reduce the cost of transport both in terms of the physical moving things around and all of the costs that come from having trucks and vans and pickup trucks etc pumping poison into the air this really is a big day and I'm not saying that because the channel is called just get a Tesla and hey it's the Tesla truck and let's pump it if somebody else had got there first brilliant and everybody else needs to get there first because this isn't just about Tesla only and everybody else can go hang they are as much part of the solution as everybody else and obviously this is an American only thing at the moment and we aren't going to see it in Europe until I don't know so let's get on with it because all we're seeing here at the moment is yes there's emissions rules that the EU have brought in to try and scrub a lot of the nitrous oxide and other things out of diesel exhaust but there isn't a long-term solution or there wasn't until today and that's why I've made this video let me know what you think in the comments if you agree that this is literally a game changer then let me know if you think I'm being a fanboy again tell me tell me um, uh, if that's what you think although if you do think I'm a fanboy why are you watching this is just get a Tesla I will see you very soon on the next one